for the first time, if you drop the ego, you are totally identifiable as a unique person. But then it has got nothing to do with it. You will flower just like the flowers out there, according to your uniqueness. And you will be incomparable with anybody else. And you will just walk down the street or be in the room and people will, oh, who is that person? Because you have an energy which is not yours, which is so vast. So vast it is. It keeps replenishing itself over and over and over again. We look through the keyhole with our senses of a door and say, what I see is reality. How stupid man is to think that Existence consists of what man can see through a keyhole. This very moment, if you have a little radio, it will play, switch it on. That means the radio waves are passing through the walls. Now this we know. What other things are passing through? Immense, you know, you breathing in, you know, like Patanjali describes you, breathing in a prana, whatever that is. But that prana is what is giving you life. You stop breathing, body dies. So somehow or other, the breath is bringing in you, as connecting you with life itself. So if the body is a bridge, what is it connecting? Awesome. Well, this is the fear of the ego. You give up the ego, you have the whole of existence. What are you worried about? <laughs> you want to stay in a prison, the prison of the ego. What, what you receive is the, the vastness of existence itself. And you start discovering what life is. While you have an ego, you don't know what life is. You're living out of your learned reactions. Learned reactions are not life. Life is not born. Life does not die. What is this thing within you which isn't born and doesn't die? That is your job. Fall into that space, you will not be worrying about your ego. You will not be worrying about your personality. You will simply become a flute, a hollow flute on the lips of existence itself. For everything there is a readiness like in children, there's a readiness to read. If you try to impose it until, if they're not ready, you, you will cause reading problems. So too in this. If you have abandoned hope, you have given up hope that your whole life is futile, only then are you ready. That is the um, criterion of readiness that you have simply given up. And this is what Patanjali describes beautifully. Only when you see you have tried in every possible way to understand, and, but everything has turned to futility then you give up and then you are open, then you are ready. Then you are ready to listen without judging, without condemning. You are simply ready to listen to the wind again. 
to watch the moon, to watch the sunrise without making any comment. You are ready to sit in the presence of someone without an ego, without asking anything or doing anything, just sitting and just sitting and being in the energy field of such a person, you start, begin to vibrate with that same resonance. So you have to be ready. It is not, you cannot impose it in any way upon the, the all of humanity. There has to be a readiness. And again, like I said before, your pain and your suffering are your best teachers how to get out of pain and suffering. That is readiness when you try in every way and it hasn't worked. Help! 